Hi, this is Joe Alton, MD, also known as Dr. Bones of www.doomandbloom.net, where you'll find over 650 posts, podcasts, and videos on keeping your family safe in any disaster. Together with my wife, Amy Alton, a nurse practitioner, we're the co-authors of the Amazon bestseller, The Survival Medicine Handbook, the New York Times bestseller, The Ebola Survival Handbook, and the designers of the new board game, Doom and Bloom Survival, a great way to get the whole family together for a fun game night. In this next of a series on antibiotics and their applications in survival settings, we'll discuss the most prescribed antibiotic to humans in the United States, at least in the year 2010, azithromycin, commonly known as z in the U.S. Before I start, a short disclaimer. The information in this video is for informational purposes only and doesn't take the place of seeking medical advice from a qualified professional. Seek them out whenever and wherever they are available. Azithromycin is a member of the macrolide family and can also be found as aquatic azithromycin. It's effective against various types of staph, strep, and other bacteria, and even some sexually transmitted diseases. Azithromycin works by stopping the growth and multiplication of bacteria. I prefer it to aquatic erythromycin powder, fish mycin, as erythromycin is more often available in a capsule. Thus, it is more easily dosed. Also, azithromycin is more potent against certain bacteria than erythromycin is. The widespread use of this antibiotic is due to its slow elimination from the body, which allows for less total days required to take the medication. Indeed, many infections can be treated with just three to five days of once daily azithromycin compared to erythromycin three to four times daily for up to two weeks. Azithromycin can be used to treat various types of bronchitis, pneumonia, ear infections, skin infections, some throat infections, sinusitis, tonsillitis, typhoid fever, gonorrhea and chlamydia, whooping cough, and even Lyme disease if used in the early stages. Azithromycin is taken 250 milligrams or 500 milligrams once daily for a relatively short course of treatment, usually five days. The first dose is often a double dose, uh, twice as much as the remainder of the dose is given. This is referred to as a loading dose. The popular z pack uses this method. Of course, for different illnesses, the dosing and length of treatment varies. For acute bacterial sinusitis, for example, azithromycin may be taken once daily for just three days. If you're taking the 500 milligram doses and have side effects such as nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, or dizziness, drop down to the lower dosage. Azithromycin is not known to cause problems in pregnant patients, but should only be used in those cases if clearly necessary. It's okay to give to people who are allergic to penicillin, but it's not for infants younger than six months. Common side effects, as I mentioned before, include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and upset stomach. It sometimes has an ill effect on people with irregular heartbeats called arrhythmias and liver and or kidney disease. An allergy is also possible as it is with almost any drug. Don't take it if you're allergic to the erythromycin family of medications. Now, interestingly, the use of antacids composed of aluminum or magnesium slows down absorption of azithromycin and decreases the effect. To find out more about azithromycin, check out a copy of the Physician's Desk Reference, now in its 69th edition, as well as our second edition of the Survival Medicine Handbook. This is Joe Alton, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Thanks for watching. Have some holes in your disaster medical plan? Why not check out Nurse Amy's entire line of kits and supplies at our store at store.doomandbloom.net.